Hey guys, Gal Level here, and recently I posted a video about unboxing and testing out the Stream Deck. Now that I have one, I also made a template for buttons that I customized the first time that I tried it. But now, okay, this 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 first design is okay, but I want I want to animate some buttons now. So today, this is what we're gonna be doing. I'm gonna be uh, making a new design in Photoshop, and then we'll probably hop into After Effects and see how we can animate our buttons and what type of animation that we want to do. Okay, so just as mentioned, go watch that video if you haven't seen it yet. Uh, it lets you know my thoughts on the Stream Deck and what I use it for. But right now, I'm just obsessed with just design and buttons and stuff like that. Keep in mind that th those buttons that I'm doing, I'm going to be giving away the templates for free. Uh, probably on my Discord or on Gumroad or both. So join the Discord and, and go check out gumroad.com slash level. If you're new here or if you've been watching my videos without subscribing, this is your reminder. Subscribe, click the notification bell. Let's get into designing buttons. Okay, so far, so good. We have the normal button, and then when you press it, and when it's active, it's gonna look like that. Boom. What I wanna do is just slowly transition into it, or maybe have like a pulsating glow going on while the button is active. So I'm gonna have to transfer. We're gonna do it very sim like simply, okay? We're gonna do like just a fade in, fade out from one of the states to the other, but only when it comes to the middle icon, because we do want that. Uh, pressed button feeling to stay and yeah basically it's gonna go from this and slowly fade into that so when you press it it's gonna look pressed but it's not gonna it's not gonna glow already which might be an issue with that that inner glow but that's fine we're gonna actually just export them as images we can we don't even need after effects thinking of <laughs> we don't even need after effects we can do this in premiere so i'm gonna export those using the save for web that's control shift alt s <laughs> or you can go to file uh, export legacy save for web and i'm gonna put a smaller size i think 112 is what recommended i'm not sure okay so i'm gonna export this one so this is pressed but not glowing yet and then i'm gonna reactivate that inner shadow and this will be the the glowing part okay it's funny because I know in the comments someone's gonna be like, why don't you just do it in Photoshop? You can export GIFs in Photoshop. You have like a timeline. I, I'm not used to that and I don't recommend using Photoshop for anything than image editing. But let me open up Premiere because I know Premiere actually has a GIF export function. I think, I, I, I hope they didn't change it. Okay, my computer is being extra slow, of course. Now we're gonna import those um, images that we exported and we're just gonna do simple fade in, fade outs. So like as resting, so non-active, you don't need it to be animated only for the active one we're gonna make it animated so we're, we'll just animate the active one technically i don't even need the the rest one here but it rest because like resting or whatever anyway so this is and then let's drag in the glowing one you can play with the opacity as much as you want or you can just add a dissolve transition dissolve transition is my default transition so if i press ctrl d of having this selected it will add a dissolve in dissolve out so we don't want it going on for too long but also do want the animation to be smooth so it will look like not bad we could add like keyframe the opacity to make it like smoother but i think it's gonna be on a stream deck i think that's completely fine it might be distracting you know depending on what you do with your stream deck you maybe you don't want something pulsating like that um and that's completely fine you can also make it so that it's immediately glowing but then like the glowing intensity changes throughout like the, the animation but right now i like 
I like the pressed state and glowing in and out. I like that. Okay, now let's press Control M and export it as a GIF. Okay, so format, animated GIF. Boom, export video, no audio. Quality 100%. Right now the frame rate is at 25. You could probably bump it up to 60, although you, you should have made that in your sequence while in the beginning and i forgot to do that but 25 frames per second is completely fine i don't i'm not even sure what the the frame rate is on on the stream deck anyways uh back then there was this thing when you were exporting gifs on photoshop where you could decide if you wanted them to be animated like to be looped or not is it possible to have a gif that plays and then stops and then freezes the last frame is that still a thing i haven't checked that since making html websites um, if you know, put it in the comment section below. I would love to learn about this. Let's click on the name. Let's place it somewhere. And let's see what's up. Nice. Okay, now let's open up the Stream Deck application. Uh, let's go to my slobs, for example. Let's say that if I wanted to replace my starting soon button with that. Uh, you can also drag and drop stuff. I saw people doing that in a, in a video. Oh my god, that looks good. Um, <laughs> Probably save the Photoshop files. <laughs> okay, so since that that profile is specifically made for slobs, I'm gonna open up slobs. Oh, I see it. So the quality isn't great, but it still looks pretty cool. There isn't a live preview of the animation on your computer. Uh, I don't know how to show you that. Here it is. Well, you can't really see it because of my lights. Turn off ring light. There. <laughs> There you go. Okay, so now you know exactly which scene you are in when the button is active. It looks pretty cool. I really wish this could do it justice. And I have my other old buttons. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> if you want to get those buttons though, um, watch my previous video. I also gave them away for free. So once again, I'm going to be giving the Photoshop file because that's where you need to create your own icons. Uh, all you will have to do is basically duplicate, copy the effects that are on the main icon. I should probably show you how to do that. Okay, so you open up the, the Photoshop file and sign 31 is the icon. Okay, so if you want it to be like a record icon instead of a play button, um, this is what you would replace. At the right of it, you will see effects. Any other shape that you put, I recommend you put like a, um, you can put it whatever color you want, really. I can either create a shape and then copy those effects or just drag, drag and drop like a PNG file, okay? Make sure that it's like unicolor, but you can also play around with the effects yourself. This isn't a Photoshop tutorial. <laughs> this shouldn't be a Photoshop tutorial. Let's say that I want another shape, okay? I'm gonna go to custom shape and I'm gonna find this, okay? Let's say that I'm, I'm cool with this, all right? So I'm gonna go that, place it roughly in the middle, okay? So I'm in the normal one right now. As you can see, the normal one has like a bevel, has a slight shadow to it, and I wanna do that. So I'm gonna hold Alt on my keyboard and then I'm gonna drag, I'm gonna click and drag on that effects and boom, now I can just turn off the old one. Now let's duplicate that no sign, all right? And let's put it here underneath that normal from the active, okay? So this one, that one, boom, boom, okay? Now you can export that one as the, you know, the, the first part before it glows, okay? You can export that. And then when you want it to glow, duplicate this, turn off the old one, and then Find the glowing sign 31 and just copy paste. Do the same thing. Drag in here, boom, and now this is glowing. Okay. If you want to make it brighter, you can, you know, go ahead and change the color and, and stuff like that. This should be white actually. And you can play around with the actual inner glow if you it doesn't look exactly like the other ones. You know, make the white appear a little bit better. Stuff like that. Then boom, now you have your second icon. Now that you have your second icon, let's say that you don't want to go through the hassle of remaking the animation over and over again. I should probably share the Premiere file with you guys too. Um, let's open up Premiere and Premiere won't respond. Okay, Premiere doesn't want to open. <laughs> so right now I'm just going to remake my, my top Stream Deck buttons. So it's three images per button and I'm going to show you how to just replace and then immediately export on Premiere. So 
So you imported three. We don't even need the first one. Where is it? So rest play. Can you even see that? <laughs> Just making sure you guys can see everything. So here I imported three buttons, but I don't need that one. So I'm going to delete the main one, the, the resting one. I only need two buttons. So in order to have the perfect animation without having to redo it, all I have to do is right click on the first one, for example, and click replace footage. Now I can select my B right back, for example. Remember, this is going to be the two and three. So that's like um, pressed, the two press buttons. So we're going to go here. Do the same thing for the active one, for the glowing one. And I'll be right back. Now, it has successfully changed. Right? Now I can control M. It's going to remember that it's an animated GIF. If you stay on the same uh, sequence, just rename it here. And be like, BRB and export. When it comes to the size, I think I messed up by putting it at 112. It's probably not 112 <laughs> because the quality is really, really bad when it comes to the GIF. So I encourage you, you have the Photoshop. The Photoshop file was made 500 by 500. So you have a large margin to really rework it and export it as, as you wish. You have an issue for some reason it keeps flashing at the end. Let me try to fix that. Okay, so apparently uh, Premiere did not like the replace footage, at least on the, the inactive one. It's so weird. It's so weird. Anyways, I'm going to have to <laughs> redo them again. Okay, so this is what my buttons will look like when they're active. Of course, um, they won't be active at the same time, so they won't be glowing simultaneously. But this is the best representation that I can show you of how it would, uh, of how it would look. All right, I'm gonna try to take a, a video with my phone so that you can really see what it looks like. C920 is not doing it justice. All right, oh my God, that actually took way longer than I expected. There was a weird bug with Premiere. I don't know why it wasn't replacing the footage. I will let you guys figure that out. As I said, I will definitely not put it on Gumroad since you know it's not a full package and I'm not completely sure about the resolution and stuff like that. But you can join my Discord. I will create a new channel with freebies and stuff like that. I will put it on the Discord and we can talk about how to implement it. And if you have any advice or any other um, insights of <laughs> on how to do it better, I would love to communicate with you on that. Anyway, so that was an interesting uh, experience creating gifts, which is something that I stopped doing so long ago. But it's cool to get back at it and uh, create uh, custom buttons for my stream deck again. I will definitely be making more so if that's something you're interested in please make sure that you like the video you subscribe you share the video the more views those types of videos get the more i know okay you guys like that so i need to make more either way i will be making buttons for myself if you want me to share them then you know share the video uh, let everyone let everyone know that your boy be making buttons <laughs> if you're looking for some dope overlays go to gumroad.com slash get level most of the stuff that i post there is free there's leather templates full overlay pack animated overlay packs stinger transitions everything that you need for streaming so go check it out gumroad.com slash get level and uh what else follow me on social media twitter i announce a lot of things on twitter i post behind the scenes on my instagram and uh yeah just follow me there thank you guys so so much for watching this long long process it's uh, i think it took two hours and in, in total <laughs> i will see you guys next time Go out there, make me proud, get level, out.